Welcome to another episode of Beyond the Coast. It's the middle of summer here uh, where we live in New Zealand and our town is full of holiday makers. So I'm super busy. So we've left town to go and explore one of the local beaches, hopefully get some mussels for lunch and cook them up down there. And yeah, it's a beautiful day. So we're not too far away. Eh? Oh, we're about to we're about to land. We're about two minutes from uh, getting out of the car. I've got a bit of a walk through some of the woods to get to the beach. It's pretty scenic and pretty epic. So um, yeah, let's get into it, eh? See you out there. beach and see if there's any mussels on the rocks. Um, the mussels come and go quite regularly so it's a bit of a bit of a gamble if they're there if we haven't been for a while. I don't think we've got mussels off this rock for like two years so hopefully they're there. Um, there's another rock down the other end it's a bit of a swim out from the beach but um, we'll see how we get on it. Predators, no line out there. Ooh. She warm, team. She warm. All right, I'm gonna get in the drink. Um, not 100% sure if there's actually any here. I'll tell you what, there is. There's shitloads of stingrays. There's another two lots swimming up here. I'm gonna get in down river. Tides are coming in. It kind of just float with the stingrays migrating north, and. Um, See if I can find some mussels and if, if I can find them and they are here then Jane will jump in and we'll get a few for lunch and if not then we'll probably curse and swear and salt. Um, so yeah, I'll get in the water. Eh? Alright people, we're doing it. I don't know how clear this water is, it doesn't look very clear and I've seen about 10 stingrays so far and after what they did to brother Steve, I'm not that fond of them. So anyway, let's get in the water. Let's do it. from Ocean Angler, it's brand new. Yeah. Score! Well, Alan, I'm a 
tackle box. Oh team, we're starting to find them. The first ones we found were actually uh, black lip mussels, which we're kind of disappointed about because they're not very tasty, but now we're starting to get into the right ones. The nice green lip NZ mussels. Had to turn the camera off there, it was pretty dirty, but um, went for a little bit of a look around in here. Sorry, I'm just looking at all the stingrays that are just <laughs> washing around where I just got out. Um, and they're just the little black lip mussels, which are actually not that great to eat. So I ended up going around the corner and going on a bit of a mish, and it was pretty dirty, so I didn't take you with me. But um, just got to toss it up whether to uh, cook them up here or to go back home, cook them up, or go up the river and cook them up. What do you reckon? I reckon we do mussel fritters. Who are these guys? Oh look, there's another one there. Heaps of them. They're everywhere. How's my find? No, look, that's like brand new. They're for like 20, 25 bucks, that little uh, ocean angular flea jig. I don't have one of those. Stoked, that's going in the tackle box. That must have, this looks like it's been in there for like a week or less. Stoked! So those are all the New Zealand green lip mussels. Um, they weren't all that size, got a few a bit smaller, but are some DC sized mussels. So we're gonna cook those up in the pan. Um, and then we've made some mussel fritter mix and we're gonna cook that up as well. And we've got some fresh snapper. Fresh snapper yesterday. that we caught yesterday. Nah, nice good eating size snapper fillets. Um, yeah, and a gin. Oh. Yeah, they are. Oh yeah, that is the same as the other ones, eh? Yeah, they're tasty, yes. All right, that's heating up. If you've never cooked mussels in salt water before, I went on a, on a camping trip one day and we cooked them in salt water and honest, honestly, they were the best mussels I've ever had. So if you can cook them in salt water, definitely do, or try them anyway, I reckon it's unreal. All right, that's heating up, that's heating up. Me. All right, let's get these mussels in. Muscle fritter max. That looks so good. Muscles are on. I'm James excited. stoked. The seagulls are pumped. <laughs> the sun's just setting below the hill there. It's about to get dark. Check out my sick ass room. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna change all those three out to just match those rusty ones at the back. We're on here. Come on, man. I wonder if that's one of those ones that's just not gonna open. Oh, those muscle fritters smell me. All right, this one's yours. You get the big muscles. You get the little hairy ones. <laughs> and muscle fritter for y'all. Thank you. Muscle fritter for me. coming along not too badly team. Got to have the grains. Uh, that is yours there with the long ass muscles. Thank you. Look at that team. 
mussel fritters, mussel fish and salad. Not bad. Just, Casually, little gin. To try what to try. I better have a mussel actually, I haven't had one. Mm. Super tasty. Very Heaps tasty. of taste, eh? Yeah, that one was quite tough, but They're maybe it's actually. like the bigger ones. Yeah, might be. Give me a nudge at this, people. What do you think? Mm. Crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. Real muscly, eh? Yeah. Oh, that was mean. <laughs> Finish. Done. All right, we're packing up. We're getting out of here. Jane's getting cold. I'm getting scared because the sun's going down. Thanks for watching another episode of Beyond the Coast. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you want to see in future videos. And we'll see you on the next one. Yeah, see you on the next one, guys. Thank you.